Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to take a look at some gameplay of the Scorpion with a new drone I purchased uh, called the Discus. But uh, what I'm going to be actually doing with that Discus is I bought two of these uh, freezer microchips. So this one over here, it's not a maxed out one. It's only the blue one, which I think is uh, T2. Um, but I'm going to try this with actually storms and gusts because I want to see how that uh, will work. So basically, um, when I use this drone on the Scorpion, it's going to freeze the enemy up, uh, even though I'm using uh, shotguns, I'm hoping anyways. So I have uh, two of them, uh, this one here as well. You can see I have two of them on this uh, drone. I'm not going to be putting other microchips on, just these two. I want to see how it uh, performs. And then after that, or at least uh, before we drop into a game, we're going to be opening up some special delivery uh, crates here. So I purchased the bigger pack of uh, coins a while back. I just haven't had time to uh, open these up yet so you can see I have no prizes and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up uh, these now actually before I do that if you are new to the channel definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already um, it helps me out so I can bring you guys more content like this video and uh, also more giveaways so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, open these up here let's see what we get okay so I'm going to see I have no prize or anything um, we got the hawk and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's just uh, open this up again so there's not really many prizes here that I want because I have most actually wait this atomizer is good because I only have three so <laughs> forget I just said that because I was hoping to get another one so that I could get four of them and then possibly run it on a leech I've been uh, liking the leech uh, as of late, I've actually been running Wasp on it. Uh, if I get another Hawk, I'm probably going to be uh, selling it. I know it sounds crazy, but I believe I already have two Hawks. I think I actually might have sold the one. I won the first one from a tournament. So uh, that was uh, that was always good. Actually, no, it wasn't a tournament. That was a Scorpion. The, uh, the Hawk that I got, uh, I actually got from uh, the Creator program. So a lot of... Uh, other YouTube channels that are part of the creator program, I believe, got a hawk. And uh, I was one of them. So uh, let's just keep on going here. Yeah, there's not many prizes here that I would have liked. Because um, I've got most of it anyways. Okay, so we have a futuristic walker. I have uh, four of those <laughs> maxed out already. Just keep on going. And I'll show you my prizes uh, afterwards. Actually, you know what's kind of crazy is, so this past weekend, uh, Pixonic gave a free VIP to everyone. I think it was like three days, along with some resources. And I actually took those resources on my baby account. And I opened up the 300 on here, and I actually won another Nucleon, the Futuristic Nucleon. So I now have two Futuristic Nucleons on my baby account, which is so lucky. And the thousand uh, keys which we uh, got, I won a thousand gold. So those were my prizes. Not very good, as you can see. Uh, that was the uh, the drop rate and everything. So let's go back here. Uh, let's take a look at the prizes I've won. So we got a futuristic quarker, the ivory atomizer. Those are the components, as you can see here. A lot of components, some gold and uh, hawk components, and then just more components. So that's pretty much what I won. Uh, from the, uh, what was it, 7,000 or so coins that I uh, had purchased and saved up. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, let's uh, jump into some gameplay here uh, with the Scorpion. Actually, before I do that, I can show you my hangar. So, uh, you know, we have the Loki here. Uh, a lot have asked me, why don't I upgrade my Loki to MK2 Max? It's because, like, I find with the Loki, if I'm maxed out I'm gonna stay in the Loki for too long and uh, that's kind of the reason why so it kind of forces me to drop out of the Loki and I don't stay in the bot for too long so we have the uh, storm and gust here as you can see I have cloaking unit uh, on this so that should be kind of interesting I actually find that the cloaking unit on the scorpion works better than if I were to put like um, you know thermo nuke or overdrives and last stand on it so there we go, and uh, let's just go to the Hawk. So here's my Hawk with the Glacier and Rhyme. I'm uh, kind of liking this build, but you know what? I think out of all the bots I'm running right now, 
The bot that I like the most, believe it or not, is between the Blitz and the uh, Leech. <laughs> the Leech only because, um, you know, for longer range maps, the Wasp is so deadly. It's so satisfying to hit Hawks and, uh, you know, our Mings with it too. So this is uh, my Leech here with the Wasp. And I have uh, two overdrives with a last stand and lockdown ammo. And then finally we have my Nodens. And sometimes I run my Arthur. I know I did a live stream and I ranked the uh, Nodens as uh, second and the Arthur as first. But it depends on whether I'm running with my clan and uh, or if I'm going like solo. Like typically when I go solo I prefer the Arthur. But I'm going to run the Nodens today. And we do have Quantum Sensor on here. So uh, yeah, let's drop into the first game and uh, let's see how we do with this Scorpion. So just remember when I drop in, I'm going to be using the drone. I only have one drone. It's going to be for the Scorpion only. And uh, yep, yeah, let's uh, hop into that first game. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Dead City map and I have started with my Scorpion. So you can see my uh, drone here. My uh, pet drone. We're going to try this out on one of these guys. Maybe I should lock onto uh, this guy here and uh, we are going to attack him. Let's see what happens. Are we... F whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! That's crazy! You see him freeze up so fast? That's nuts! And that was my thinking, you know, with the shotguns, you can actually freeze players up um, a lot quicker because of the, like, pellets. So you have that uh, bullet spread. Yeah, this guy, you probably want to run now because it's going to get ugly. Really, really ugly. And I'm like death marking him too, frozen. You're going to kill him, right? There we go. There's a bit of a delay there because I did lag out a bit. Can't wait for the remastered version. It's going to make a huge difference. I'm just wondering, how deadly is this build against... Um, oh, jeez, this guy does not like me. I'm wondering, how is this going to work against Titans, even? Because, you know, when you freeze him up... Oh, shoot! He moved back. He's a scorpion, and I'm going to freeze him up. <laughs> Where did he go? We're going to go for this guy here. There's a scorpion... Oh, shoot! <laughs> There's a scorpion back there and I froze him up. That other guy is going to be attacking me. Who is it? Is it this guy? I think it's this guy. And I think he's going to be attacking me here soon actually. Because he's probably... Yep. <laughs> uh, can I follow him? You know what? I'm, I might be able to follow him. Yes. Th that, was, that was the advantage of me not getting mine sooner. There we go. Man, that was crazy. So <laughs> you can see why I say that. Um, the cloaking unit is actually better for the scorpion. That other guy was missing me. Meanwhile, I'm like death marking him. Actually, like double death mark. I wonder if I can get him here. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna move in here and we're gonna death mark this guy. Freeze him up. There we go. Man, I'm having a crazy run with this. You know what? I'm wondering if that is the best uh, setup for uh, the Scorpion. And you got to remember, I'm using the Storms here. These weapons were nerfed. Doesn't seem like it, but <laughs> it really was. I'm going to go for uh, this guy here. Not sure what this guy's in. Ao Jung, frozen, gone. Man, that's nuts. Now we're going to go for this guy here. There we go. It's a very short game, but uh, we will be playing a second game. This is like the shortest game ever. I mean, look how much health I still have. 176. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to get uh, my ability back in time. We have a 4 cap here. So that was the first game. I'm going to drop into another game. Actually, I'm quite shocked at how deadly this is. I might actually keep this as my... A drone for my scorpion. I want to see actually how much damage this does to a titan. That was nuts. So anyways, uh, off to game number two. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Yamantau map. And I've started with the uh, low key first. So I'm going to try to get into the center as quickly as possible here. 
and I'm thinking of dropping in that scorpion when the red team has a titan's art because I want to see you know how much damage is that uh, you know bot gonna do with the uh, drone what is that guy doing up top there he's just uh, sitting perched up top there with his aljung uh oh they got uh, they got pulsars back there you always got to be careful of that um wait we don't have oh shoot guys that beacon quick oh shoot they're gonna is he gonna get there quick enough this one's running back they have a couple of players moving back there i'm just uh, watching i think we're gonna be able to hold it we're gonna get that beacon right yeah there we go okay so um i'm gonna move i'm gonna move this way this way i can actually push these guys back uh, not necessarily push them back but they're more likely to retreat <laughs> i was making it look like i was gonna go that way then i decided to move this way just to uh, duke, duke them out although i think they are getting our beacon look a beacon on their side is is or was changing or are they getting the center we had no one at center oh guys what the heck are you doing okay i'm gonna engage this uh, phantom here i need to get out of this uh, bot because Otherwise, these guys are going to wipe out my team. You know, when your, when your teammates start making decisions like that, that's when you have to be careful and you have to uh, make sure that you get your beacons quickly. Um, I think I'm actually going to run into a center again here just to make sure that we have it uh, held down. Um, because I have a... This guy's actually almost out. How much? Oh, okay, here we go. We should be able to get this now. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to ditch this. We're going to get out of this uh, bot here. I'm going to drop in with my leech. There we go. And this is the build that, you know, I've been running as of late. <laughs> I've actually been having a lot of fun with it because it does so much damage. And these weapons are so brutal. It's crazy how strong these weapons are. I'm going to lock this guy down. And you'll see what I mean by that. Look at his health. He thought he was safe until he got hit and locked. I'm going to redirect my damage to that guy. I'm going to see if I can perhaps uh, get this player here. What about this one here? It is a blitz. I can get him with, uh, with the corrosion. That should work, right? There we go. But this guy is going to get our beacon. We had so many players back there. What the heck is going on here, man? He's actually going to get this beacon. Are you serious? Yeah, he actually got this beacon. It just goes to show you, you know, how players are aware of their beacons. He's going to drop in here, so I have to... Uh... Yep, there we go. So I did hit him. <laughs> Look at his health. I should just wait here until he keeps dropping in. Maybe I can just keep on killing him. What do you guys think? Yep, I'm hitting him right now. He's wondering what's going on, but... <laughs> we kill him he's gonna drop in here again so i'm just gonna wait here yep there we go you know what if i can lock him down i'm going to uh move around here i wasn't actually firing all my weapons i realized that's why it's so off i was looking at my uh the reloads here but i think i might even kill him again almost got him again and these guys are pushing into center what on earth is my team doing, man? Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. Okay, I'm going to get this beacon back here. And we're going to try to hold this down. Then I'm going to have to wipe out the other team uh, on our home beacon back there. Let's uh, get rid of this guy. Actually, um, this Nightingale should go for the beacon. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can perhaps wipe these guys out on this side. Because there's, there's so many of them here. If I can get uh, this guy here. I got him with suppression. We are hitting him. He's going to turn around for sure. If he doesn't turn around, I don't know. Let's just let my weapons cool down a bit. Let's get this guy. These guys are... They're so unaware. Like, do they not see me or what? What's going on here? This is so weird. Okay, there we go. Now we've got this guy's attention. Trying to switch to this uh, hover here so I can take this guy out. And if I can get this guy. I hope my team doesn't give up that beacon too. That would just be uh, terrible. 
trying to uh, focus down this uh, Ming here. I'm not going to be able to get close. <laughs> He's hiding behind the, the Arthur. That's a smart move, but man, these guys almost actually got that beacon. I'm going to drop in with my, um, my Hawk here, just in case. We're going to take out one of these Titans at least. Maybe I can take out this uh, Ming. If I can take out that Ming, that would be nice. Almost. That should do it. And then we'll deal with this guy here. Um, I should have actually dropped in with my my scorpion, but because they have so many titans on our beacons, I decided not to do that. Um, so I'm going to freeze this guy up here. And then we'll deal with him. Okay, let's just do that. Let's just take out this hawk actually first. Yeah, he's hiding. <laughs> he's hiding behind the uh, the guy and I got the yeah I got the Titan and I got the the Hawk there Just do as much damage to that guy he's almost out am I gonna get him we got him this guy's gonna take me out so now I'm gonna drop in uh, over here with the scorpion and the uh, the drone so let's use this against this Titan I believe this is a Titan here we're gonna freeze him up and we're gonna take him out with this he did not see that coming and what about this guy? He's going to be landing here soon. Let's do that. You're going to see him freeze up here too. There we go. And he's now taking 20% more damage, I believe. So able to take him out there. And this guy, I need to run here. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. <laughs> Where is he? I'm just waiting for him to, uh, to land here. Okay, so we're going to do that. And death mark him, and that should be the end of him. And these guys are moving into the uh, center here, so I'm going to have to see how I'm going to play this. Actually, maybe I can get this guy. I mean, he's almost out. can probably steal this one. We're going to get this leech. And his ability is going to wear off here, so he's going to go down really fast. Yep, there we go. They still have another player here. I might be able to steal this one. We have a couple of seconds. I need to teleport, and then I'm going to have to uh, take him out that way. This guy is trying to rush. He's trying to beat me. He's going to steal my kill. No ways. No ways. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. <laughs> that guy stole my kill. But you know what? These weapons actually aren't that bad with that drone. You got to keep in mind too that my um, my microchips aren't maxed out. It's only the T2, uh, I believe. So it's not even T4 yet. Um, but it did pretty well against that Ming. And uh, this is kind of how we stacked up. They were down a player there, as you can see. So, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, in terms of this video. I just wanted to do the uh, special delivery crate openings and uh, also some gameplay of the Scorpion. And uh, actually, let me go back here. I can show you what I have in terms of the uh, drones. Okay, or at least for that. I mean, I showed it at the start, but what I can do is I can actually go to the combine and uh, you'll be able to see because it's a blue chip. So it's only T2, as you can see at the top here. So it's only T2. It's not even T3 or T4, which is the gold one. So it's uh, not bad. Like if you have Storms and Gust and you have a Scorpion, uh, I would give it a shot. Um, you know, it costs me 300 gold total. So if you go to uh, the store here, you can see I, I bought uh, one of the freezer ones. So it's 150 gold. And uh, what you can actually do instead of refreshing, I would just wait until it, uh, you know, reloads uh, for free or you use the ad. And you can do that. And uh, yep. So uh, let me know what you guys think of this build. Is anyone running it uh, with the drone uh, using the freezer microchip? I'd love to know in the comment section. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.